All right, let's check it out here. We are standing here at Home Depot in one of my favorite sections here, Clarence, Clarence. So I wanted to show you some of the deals we found here tonight because I got some really nice stellar ones here. Check this out. So we got the Milwaukee. This is their laser here. I'll show you the model number we're looking at. We're looking at the 3632-21. And this one actually runs off the red lithium XC 4.0. And so this guy is actually marked down to 540 from 599. Now you may look it up and it may not show up on your website or it may show up full price. I don't know. So sometimes with these things, you have to just come into the store to get it there. What's up, Ernesto? And happy chicks checking in. All right. So let me show you the other one I found here. I'm, I'm actually picking up some of these for our next tool giveaway. So this here is our milwaukee these are the white hard hats see the uh, uh the adapt to your job site hats with the rim on it let's see if it's got the model number on here for those of you keeping track at home yeah here's the model number right there okay now these normally go for 24.99 or something like that or close to 25 but here's the price yeah right there look at that see that so I figured for six and a half bucks a piece, we'll score a few. I'll keep one for me and we'll give the other ones away in our next tool giveaway. And I see Carol checked in. Yeah, Mike Land, a few other people checked in here on the chat. Cool. Um, so we got that. There's other hats here too. So there is uh, the, the little yellow one with just the front. And this one, well, actually, it's not much of a savings, but there's your savings on that one. And same with a the green. They have a green version of this. That's only down a couple of dollars. Not much there. And I want to come back over to this other end cap next to it where we have more. Oops. I meant to do that. Uh, where we have more of these guys. Here is the Kohler, so you get the Rubicon. So he's down a, a 108 from 119. And that's, I mean, this is sort of the starting point. Now, I don't know if they're actually gonna go lower than these, because right now it's not saying clearance on these, but who knows, it might end up. They were just doing a huge reset here not too long ago. And let's see, oh, there was a couple of other, there's a ladder deal I wanna show you down here. Let me show you this deal. There's only one of these left here in this store. It's a Werner. This is that 22 foot. It's not the 23 foot. Uh, this is the 22 footer, but this one is marked down to 199. Let's see that. So you can check online. I don't know what price it's going to show you online, but. This is the 375 pound rated on here too. So that's typically what most of the guys look for on this guy here. And if you look through our videos, you'll see we did a huge uh, tool review video on this about two years ago when they had this ladder on a flash sale for 99 bucks. See, so there's where it says right there, uh, 22 feet, see? Here's your uh, I'll put a link to this when I get home if I can find it. Uh, if I can find the link to that when I get home. And, and if it's at the sale price, we'll put a link to that there. Now, we have an issue I wanted to show you. Uh, so I'm, I actually came in here looking for a 23-pound nailer, brad nailer, not 23-pound, 23-gauge brad nailer. And... So far in my store and in this store, it's just simply not here. I tried to even scan in here and I can't even get the thing to show up. So this is supposed to be going on from 131 until 327. So I don't know why they have everything else in the world here, but not this guy. Something's going on. There's like a massive run on 23 gauge nailers. And on top of that, folks, I can't even find the 23 gauge brad nails. Oh, look at you, you found it, huh? So I've been looking 
looking around and I was in two different Home Depot stores today can't even find the nails so I don't know if you guys have found the same issue but it's like pretty pretty just making me disgruntled is what it's making me let's see I'm gonna find this aisle that has the um, so here you know there was a these are pneumatics and I know a lot of people are switching to uh, battery powered cordless now but here's a porter cable one that's down uh, ten dollars there and so this one is the 18 gauge here's their 16 gauge the finish nailer is down to 119 from 159 so that's the new lower price on that one okay and you can see they got plenty of 16 gauge nails plenty of, of 18 gauge the n12 fuel impacts are down to how much 99 down to 99 says deleted user okay i figure it's the one we're going to turn down here i want to show you something in this entire store guys i can't find 23 gauge nailers not there's just nothing so let's see i came in on here did a search and so that's a pneumatic one of those are all porter cable pneumatic came down here nothing from rigid do they even have a 23 gauge do they even sell one that's 18 18 it's like nothing i'm like coming up empty-handed nothing here even from the milwaukee we thought well maybe they'll be over here we looked up i went down the tool aisle and looked up at all the milwaukee red boxes couldn't find them and then just just nothing right so we're looking here the only thing i do see though believe it or not with a whole empty store i got one two three four five of the the uh rayobi these are 23 gauge see so my question is is why do they have five of these and nothing of anybody else uh, um, i looked at the reviews and the reviews gave them all five stars so i don't know if any of you owns the 23 gauge from Ryobi there. Hey, let us know how it's working for you. And yes, I'm at it again, John McRea. So if anybody has used this particular one, let me know. And then you can't find any of the 23 gauge. So pretty much the ones they have here are too big. They got one and three quarters and up. I can't find anything below one and three quarters in any of the stores. That I've been in today. Look, all you see is one and three quarters. The reason why you see these piled up here is because nobody uses them. Nobody cares. And because I mean, let's face it, when you're using 23 gauge, you're going with uh, anything from five eighths up to one and a quarter. You're not using these long ass things. So how are you going to do with that? So, but they do have all the other sizes, and you can see there's other ones that they're just completely wiped out on down here too so nothing 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 it wouldn't it probably wouldn't even do you any good to buy the nailer right now because you can't find the stupid nails <laughs> so yeah we're supposed to put up some crown molding on that kitchen um on friday and i'm hoping my friend Vinny has some check this out man it's a sea of green here so this is what i don't like this is the boca store they they had a nice beautifully laid out tool section here and they got rid of the whole damn thing they like did a whole master reset and then they they just brought in all of this stuff so i'm like wondering what the heck did they do that for so you got the 1600 psi i own this one 99 bucks you can't go wrong for that price don't expect it to do a whole lot of stuff it'll clean off your roof tiles it'll it might clean off some stuff on your driveway but if you have like a really stubborn oil stain you know there's very few pressure washers that are even going to do that and look at this if you want to go really really cheap on a lawnmower here's a power smart here 169 it's still a gas powered motor I'm, I'm done with gas ever since i bought my dewalt and my ryobi mowers last year those cordless ones i've been using them even you know my honda gas mower was the best lawnmower ever made but i haven't used it in a few months so here's the other model so this is the 21 inch this is a push also this is not self-propelled and so I wonder what the difference is between the two of these, 21 inch and 21 inch. So you can look up the model numbers there and find out for yourself. But look at this man, Shaka would love this. <clears throat> Just a beautiful sea of green there. GG goes keto just checked in. What's up there, Gene? 
So I was at the Coconut Creek Home Depot earlier today, and I saw a crap ton of these guys. I don't, know, I don't remember if it was this size, if it was the 56 inch or a smaller one, but I don't know if they're getting ready for a sale. That's what I was thinking. So look at this. So here's the, I finally seen a Milwaukee one that wasn't in the box still. So I still think this thing's way overpriced. Now I can tell you, I don't, this looks smaller than the one that they had 52 inch. I can't remember. We had one on Black Friday at Home Depot about three years ago that went for uh, $5.99. It was an unbelievable blowout price. Because normally these go for like, they were going for like $8.99 and then they dropped it down to, to I don't know, $7.99. And then on Black Friday they did a blowout door buster and they went for $5.99. So yeah. Uh, but inside, let's see how the drawers perform here. Yep, slow close. I do like the top. And Shaka Gillis, our good friend, just checked in and he says, Good evening, Jeff. Ryobi tools are... Wait, are you saying this is a trash... Uh, uh, what would they call this? A landfill? <laughs> Look at this, Shaka. They built this just for you, man. The Shaka Shrine. Ah, oh, such a beautiful shade of lime green. Yeah. And Land Shark just checked in also. Looks like everybody's here. Hey, you know what, guys? I haven't heard from Stan the Man in a while. Is he still around? We haven't seen him. I haven't seen him make his presence known. Stan the Man, great guy. All right, so let's see in the back of this. Yeah, so this is a nice unit, but man, I, I'm just not seeing it at this price. So here's some of the, the, the stuff they're showing here on it. So Shaka says it's a wall of trash. Okay, so if that's a wall of trash, what would these be then? <laughs> it's everywhere. You can't escape it. Look, and then on top of that, you got the green back there. Holy cow. Home Depot should just change their colors to green. All right. Uh, let's see. So they're starting to bring out the fans now. The fans and the ACs are coming out now in full force. So let me see what we got here. The 24 inch ones are 149. The little 16 inch guys are 99. The 30 inches are 239. And the 42 inches are 369. Now, I don't remember if those went up in price or not. This store still has a crap ton of these. Uh, my understanding last time I came in and I had the guy scan these, these scanned in an 18 and change. So I'm going to have somebody check one of these for me before I leave here tonight because if these dropped any further I'll buy every dang one of them we'll keep giving them out we'll keep giving these guys out for I must have bought more of these than any other person in the United States man because we've given away about a half a dozen or more of these on every tool giveaway for the last six months yeah and somebody was asking what oh mountain bike was asking about the eight inch was that an eight inch I don't know which one you're looking at this guy here's the four inch. There's a, a nine inch circulator, 1798. And then I thought I saw a smaller guy. There's a 10 inch one here, 79 bucks. I don't know why this guy's 79 bucks though. And let's see if we have any other deals. Deals and spiels. I'm um, trapped. See, this is why I don't like it. This area, they had a nice store going, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They had a beautiful, beautifully laid out tool section here. It was multiple rows going up and down and up and down. And you could see up and over into the next row. It was like an open concept. It was much nice, nicer than what they got now. I mean, it's just a, it just looks like a convoluted mess here. And then they bring all the automotive tchotchkes over here. I mean, you had the tools front and center. And you blew it. All right. So here, see, that's what they did. They moved all the saws right there down the, the aisle. Yeah, so we were like looking and looking everywhere. Another sea of green up there. So sometimes they come down like near the construction aisles here. And if you look on these side racks on the end caps, so this is like where the, those Milwaukee uh, squares were, the rafter squares, that everybody was going crazy over. 
Man. And it's also hard to find uh, the fine tooth blades right now. So I had to go to two Home Depots the other day just to get a saw blade. Let me see if they have their supplies looking here, if they have them even. Um, yeah, because we were down in Pembroke Pines. Yeah, I do see one. There's an eight and a couple of eight and a quarters right there. So, yeah, I had to go to a few stores to find them. So looks like they got filled back up here. But I'm telling you guys, if you need something, and um, sometimes these needs just come up out of nowhere, um, make sure you can get a hold of stuff because a lot of stuff is empty right now. These shelves are empty. And Adam, what's that? Adam's checking in from Texas. Nice. I used to live there in San Antonio. They just joined once in the basket. Well, I'm still, uh, I'm kind of up in the air about this. I'm going to have somebody check this one here. So this is the laser from Milwaukee down to 540 from 599 because it has a case. Um, and the, then this one here is the hats or the hard hats are down from 25 down to 650. So check in your store and here, I'll show you guys once more. Here's the model number. So see if they've got it in your store and don't just check online. You got to come in and actually look for the sticker to see if they've got it there so i'm uh gonna probably go home despondent that after two stores i couldn't find a stupid little 179 dollar uh call it there the nailer so see here's another one comes in a smaller kit see now this is the usb one the 3.0 and i think this is is this the other one well this is red lithium so I don't know if it's actually using the regular battery like the other one that I have from them that I've been using this week. Uh, I, I just know that that one lasts forever on the battery. Okay, now we have behind this little pile of green here, we have DeWalt is doing their sale on the compressor with the pneumatic. And I have this one right here. That's the precision point, the 18 gauge. It's a really nice one. We're coming behind you. Okay. okay. So we got right here. Look at this. One ninety nine. It was two thirty nine, and no extra charge for the background music. Uh, the hose twenty four eighty eight. Now there was one where we had just the. Where's the one where it was just the tank? Is that the, that's the one tool combo? Because they have one here that has just the tank, and I don't know if it's supposed to be marked down or not. But I don't see a price tag on it. But there you go. They do this deal every year. In fact, I think I remember one year seeing this as low as 175 So that'll put it in price perspective for you. And I think, let me see, do we have, we have the DeWalt tables. Our store hasn't even had these in months. They're, they're still, well, that's the Husky one. Where are you? Where's the Husky, DeWalt? So they're still showing the DeWalt at 99. Oh, I haven't even seen these in Coconut Creek in eons. So let's see if they put anything else in. No other deals down here. Well, I guess that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys this here. And uh, let's see, if you haven't looked at our videos from the past week, make sure you check some of those out, man. We were finding some real good clearance deals that a lot of them you're not going to see it online. You just got to go in the store and find the stickers on there, okay? So I will leave you with this look here on uh, some of these deals on the faucets. And you guys have a great night. And if you have any questions that weren't answered, ask them in the comments below on the video, and we will answer them for you. All right, guys, have a great night.